The last few days we've been setting up a survey grid to study uh, some trends in brush tail fascigal, which occurs in this area. And uh, we've been um, looking at a range of vegetation types and different habitat areas within uh, a broad area bounded by uh, part of the northern wombat forest uh, up around the Andoid area and uh, the Hepburn Regional Park. Here's our first trap. It's open. Um, you'll notice that the entrance door's open there. Fragmentation of habitat is, is a major threat and, and what, what is happening um, and has happened over the years since uh, settlement in Victoria is that uh, some of the forest habitat areas have become separated whereas previously they would have been linked together. There are still linkages there through areas like road reserves and natural patches of bush on both um, public land and on private land, but gradually some of those linkages have disappeared or declined. And so that is a major concern and, and uh, one of the uh, reasons we're doing the genetic study is to see to what extent fragmentation might be occurring in, in a genetic sense. When we um, get brush tail fascigals in our uh, Elliot traps, um, the first thing we do is after carefully removing them from the traps and we only do that uh, when we've already established a good release site. The process we go through is to initially remove them from the trap, weigh them, um, check their sex and then uh, we actually take a DNA sample from the animals um, and this is assisting us in a long-term project to look at what we call the uh, population management units um, which exist across the state and uh, so all of those procedures that we go through uh, are designed to provide quite useful information in terms of longer term management. I have to admit that I'm, I'm enamoured by <laughs> Brush tail fascigals, I, I've always liked them. Uh, they've always, always appealed to me. And I think that they're, they're an, an under-recognised and undervalued part of our fauna. And for that reason, I'd like to see much more known about them. And also um, that many people become aware of them and aware of their uniqueness and their uh, beauty, because they are a beautiful animal.